Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up, set up a variable duration replay system in OBS Studio, which is perfect for casting League of Legends and other esports titles. With the standard replay system offered by UBS, which you have tons of um, tutorials uh, on YouTube already, you can check them out, uh, you have the disadvantage of a fixed replay duration, which is not suitable for League of Legends casting replays, since plays in the game vary in length. With this method, you can start a replay recording with a hotkey. At the end of the play, press another hotkey to stop the recording, then the ter third hotkey to watch the replay. We're going to be using the free advanced scene switcher plugin, which you can download from the website. The link is in the description. This plugin helps us automate a lot of processes, and I, work and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to improve their broadcasts. The plugin helps us by triggering certain events and automatically switching scenes back to live once the replay has finished, for example. It automatically uh, automates a lot of stuff um, and it's really, really cool to have. So let me show you how that works. I will load up a replay in a sec. Yes, you can see we are in the replay. And let's get back a little bit. So I'm in this really intense fight and um, I want to cast this. Um, so I can see the enemy is flanking and I see that the fight is up about to happen now. So I press the first hotkey, which is control, shift and Q. Let me turn down um, the sound a little bit. So the replay is happening, I can cast it however I'd like. And um, I don't have the limitation that the fight needs to be really quick. like. Usually when you do the replays in UBS, you have like the 20 seconds um, set amount. Um, and as you can see, the replay is much longer. Otherwise, but some other plays are like a little uh, less. So it's nice to have this. So the, the play is over. I press Control, Shift and W. The enemies just um, gave up after this play. And let's say the, the replay, uh, the, the game keeps going. I will spectate everyone. And now I'm done. Um, initiating the play and I now press the third hotkey which is control shift and R to start the replay. So as you can see um, the replay is being shown with everything that has happened on the screen. On the bottom side um, you can also insert like the live um, which you can toggle on and off which I like. For example when I uh, when our team would have happened to taken Baron now, we could have shown that, no problem. Um, for Or, and also another th nice thing is that we can at any time cancel the replay immediately. Let's say the another fight has broken out here, um, we could have ended the replay or wait until the replay has finished. The program would automatically trigger the scene switch to my main and live feed and I will be back. So now I'm going to show you how you can set this one up. For the record, I just um, did a new scene. Um, there's a clean feed, uh, which has my in-game, my actual in-game, which is I'm going to um, just play around a little bit. It has my overlays and everything, and I like to have the clean feed because in the live game, um, or actually rather later in the replay, you can have the live feed uh, on the bottom hand side, which you can show and hide. With a hotkey, um, uh, which is nice um, to have. Let's go to the live game. For this replay system, we need to go into tools. Go to uh, actually, let's go to replay. Um, let's add a media source. Um, this is just temporarily. Trust me, we need this replay file. And hit OK, just go to your um, videos folder or where you save anything. I j you just need to hit any video. It doesn't need to be League of Legends, actually. Um, and just hit Open and have that. Let's pause this. Um, and we need to go to Tools and go to Scripts. And then in here, you see the plus. It should go into this folder structure. And you hit Instant Replay. Now this should appear. And in the Media Source, um, you are going to say replay file. Sometimes actually this uh, doesn't recognize the new uh, source we just added. Just close and like close OBS and restart it. But for me it worked. So we hit this 
replay file. This helps um, that it automatically um, uses the latest file just by the name of it. Um, we are going to set this on the lowest part. I'd like to have um, an overlay which indicates that this is a replay. Let's go to Tools and Advanced Scene Switcher. For you, I have added a um, settings already. You can import that. Um, should be in the description. It's called Advanced SS Replay Semper Scenes. Let's open that and it should say Advanced Scenes um, imported successfully. It closes automatically, which is not so nice. Let's go back. Let's go to macros and um, you can disable the first ones. I like them, but uh, you don't need them first. So we go to the through the hotkeys. You can see it is a simple if, then and else um, structure like programming does. Sometimes um, this uh, disappears when you um, play around too much. Let's Let's um, get back. And for you to set it up, we just need to go through every um, of these four things. And um, we search for two things. If hotkey is pressed, and now you can select a name. Let's just stick to my names I did. And my scene currently is the live in-game, which I'm going to be showing. So this is just so you have protection. For example, if you press the hotkey when you are in your talking scene or pre-game scene, you don't want that to happen. And then you want to wait some time. Um, actually, you need this wait time a little bit. You can lower it or play around and see what is uh, working for you. But you need some time because the replay is saving and that needs one or two seconds. It stops the replay buffer. Now you need to go through every audio file. I have this for me and set my volume. I don't have my caster audio mixer in here, source in here, so I don't have that. But you would select your audio, um, your, your current um, microphone audio and mute that and go through that. And then you need to look out for switch scene, which is the replay currently. Um, switch scene two and you want to have this to replay using your transition which is my stinger at the moment and go through as i said every of these um i don't need to set up the audio it's just um for you to see if my hot key is triggered and my current scene is a replay then switch back to live using my um stinger and replay and um, here, if my media source, my replay file, is uh, its remaining time is shorter than 1.5 seconds, um, you are going to be switching, um, which is just starting this abort replay macro. And you want some time as well, because my uh, transition is like three seconds, and you need uh, like a half of the time. Um, otherwise, your replay would end, and then 1.5 seconds later, your scene would switch back which you don't want. You want that to be seamless. Now I can show you that this works. Let's go to my replay. I have this open right now. Um, actually, let's not. Let's go to the files and settings and go to hotkeys or actually to output. Let's enable the replay buffer first. And um, this should be set to around, like the, the theoretic maximum time a replay can have. For me, this is 100 seconds, but um, it never uses the 100 seconds because we are going to be stopping the replay buffer. And then you need to select your recording path. And um, yes, next you, you need to go into hotkeys and have the following hotkeys set. Start replay buffer. For me, it's control, shift, and Q. For the sake of the tutorial, let's keep to, the, to these. Um, instant replay is control shift and w and stop replay delayed is the same um, hotkey which is why this little icon appears it should be the same hotkey i'm going to be explaining later instant um, replay switch scene control shift r and adult board replay control shift x and have one more which is control shift e to hide and show the live group which is the overlay in the bottom and the replay scene this one um, now, um, let's go into the replay and now we are going to be finishing the setup. Let's go into any nice fight we have. Um, let's see the 
play is happening, we are going to be uh, pressing Control Shift and W. The fight is starting. You can see the replay buffer is starting to record with its maximum time of 100 seconds. Replay is happening, replay is happening. I'm going to be um, speeding that up a little bit. And now we see the play is over. We hit Control Shift W. The replay is saving, as you can see on the bottom side. Now, um, while this is still happening, let's go to the replay, to the replay file properties and select the latest one. Um, before that, if you didn't have a replay, um, you need to select your replay now. Uh, previously, you could have um, selected any file on your hard drive. Let's select this one now. And now the, scripts, the script will automatically um, see um, any files that are in this format and will update accordingly. Um, let's go back to live in-game. We have our first replay recorded. Let's sh show you that this actually uh, works. Let's do a fast one where someone kills a turret. Control shift Q. I'm going to be speeding up a little bit. Someone dies. Okay, players all over. Someone is taking a turret. Let's see how this transpired. Control shift W. Now, if you press control or like you finish your casting um, and you want to go into the replay, you say there you go, control shift R. And now this automatically switches. We can see the replay is seen. We can show and hide the live if you want to see it. Um, like a fight is a little bit about to be um, starting. That's why I want to show the live feed as well. And um, the replay, once it's finished and there's no more um, replay file, it would automatically switch back. And um, a nice thing is that, um, let's say, for example, here a fight would have broken out when the replay is still happening and we want to switch. We just press Control Shift X and we would have aborted the replay instantly and go back to live. And um, my audio would automatically resume to my live audio and everything. And it's really nice. Um, and another really nice thing after your stream is ending in your folder, you have lots of replay files already cut it in the, um, where the, where the play is. And, um, it's a little bit easier to do some clips and edits for TikTok and YouTube shorts, for example. Um, the current um, limitation for this method is, is that it, you cannot, um, put your own new audio over the replay file. So it um, will uh, be replaying the audio from from the replay, not from your live. So for example, when you screamed very loudly during the replay, you cannot calmly um, tell other things over the new um, the replay. And someone in on the Discord and League Broadcasts already put out a fix to that. I will be not showing you this today. You will need to figure this out yourself. Um, thank you for watching. Have fun uh, upgrading your replays and your broadcasts in League of Legends uh, or in UBS. Thank you for watching and goodbye.